Academy. This is Sean and I'm going to talk about some material configurations today. Uh, exciting topic. The problem that a lot of ExoCAD users have had is, let me start ExoCAD here, uh, is that they want to make a crown out of, let's say, Emacs, but it's not available as a material selection. So uh, an example here that I'm talking about is let's say we have a patient who is uh, we want to make a partial. So I click on the tooth and um, usually there's a selection here for partial framework if I want to make the framework uh, in the area of tooth number three but that's not available. What I have to do is go down here in the lower left and click Material Configuration Local. And you can see right here it's set at default. It's always set at default. You can't change that. And I go down here to select Partial for my Materials Configuration. That's going to change the Work Parameters Material Configuration XML file. And now when I click on tooth number three, now I have this partial framework option here. So I can make this partial framework out of PMMA, wax, or non-precious metal. Um, but this middle column here is what we're talking about. What are the options that you have available to make whatever restoration that you have? That's, that's the materials options or materials configuration. You can see with mine, I'm going to go back to my default material configuration and I click on tooth number three let's say I'm doing a crown you can see for my materials I've got Emacs blocks available resin available and these are separate settings that I have for these types of restorations so uh, that's how you change the material uh, XML file is by going down here to material configuration and then selecting the correct one if you want to change your default material configuration file, uh, I'll show you how to do that real quick. I'm not going to go into all the specifics of creating different materials, um, but I'll show you the area that you can do it at. So I'm going to go into my ExoCAD folder here and I'll drag this over here. And you can see I'm in my C drive, ExoCAD, and I believe I'm going to go into Dental DB, bin, and we got the work param config tool.exe. That program you can start, and now you can see for an anatomic crown. I have a new material, I just click add, I've named it Emacs block and I've put in all of my settings and right here image is where you can add that, that image, you can add uh, shades, I also have, uh, so I have like low translucency blocks, LT blocks in A1, A2, A3, it doesn't matter for ExoCAD but it helps when I'm going to actually mill the material to know what shade I've picked. Um, but you can see here for let's see printed resin, uh, I have dental LT, gray V2, model resin. So that just gives me a, a heads up on what I want to print print the restoration out of if I'm doing models or, or, or something. So that's how you add materials. If you go to Dental DB and then config these work params DB files are the XML files uh, that are created. You always are just editing this work params DB. So you can see I've made a copy and named it .bak for a backup uh, immediately, right away, and. Uh, if I go into like partial XML, 
I could just copy these material properties and add them to my work params db.xml to always make it the default material parameters. So you can add this this file right here is always going to be the default. Uh, you can't change that. So you can either add to it or make a backup and then select the specific materials configuration over here in uh, Dental DB when you're ready to, to design and manufacture a different material that's uh, out, of, out of the norm for you. Uh, the good news is that in the new uh, ExoCAD update, Matera update, uh, there are many more material options uh, such as lithium disilicate. So we don't have to worry about um, all of the different parameters when we're designing uh, different uh, restorations of different materials. So I hope that helps uh, you understand a little bit more about Dental DB. I'd love it if you uh, subscribe to the ExoCademy channel and get some ExoCAD updates. Um, and thanks for stopping by. Have a great day.